Yo, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to another thing to video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the brand new knife weapons. Today is gonna be the fuse rifle, the scintillation. We're gonna be talking about what makes this weapon special, what makes it unique, and also taking a look at the perks that can roll on this weapon. And I'll be telling you what are some of the best ones and the ones that you should be looking for if you're looking for a god on this weapon. Afterwards, we're also gonna have a mini review where we just kind of discuss the weapon. So let's get started, and first we gotta start with how to actually get the weapon. You get this weapon by playing Nifos. If you play regular Nifos, uh, you have a chance of getting the regular version of the weapon, and if you do the GMs, you get a guarantee uh, a dead version to drop at the end. Remember, the higher you go in difficulty with your Nifos, the more likely that you're gonna get some drops. And of course, in the GM, like I said, it's guaranteed to always drop one, or this week, I guess, two. And this only applies for this week. Uh, this week is the only one that has double loot. So if you're seeing this video, the first week it came out, then there's double loot right now. And if you want to get it, this is like the best week to not only get a bunch of them, but probably get the role that you're looking for. And the thing about this weapon is that it's finally a good strand linear fusion rifle. It's not the very first strand linear, but it's definitely going to be the best. We have some amazing perks that can go on this weapon. And it's also an adapter burst, meaning that it fires in three round bursts, and it comes with some pretty good uh, origin trait perks. It comes with stun and recovery for refilling magazine whenever you stun a champion. And it also has bite stinger. Whenever you're damaging an enemy, it always has the chance to use to reload the weapon from reserves. So we also have two very good origin trait perks. But the main reason that you want to look for this weapon is because it's the best strand linear in the game. At least when it comes to legendaries. I know some of you guys are going to bring up the raid one. But yeah, when it comes to legendaries, it won't get any better than this. And besides, some of the perks on it are pretty amazing. That I would say that it's just a good linear in general. It's just one of the best linears in the game, just period. It's going to be really good. But now I think it's time that we take a look at some of the perks this weapon can get. We're mostly going to talk about the trade perks, since those are the ones that matter the most. Especially what this... Uh, linear is good for which is PvE, so we're not going to spend too much time looking at the barrel and the magazine We're just going to hit it real quick and then get into talking about the trade perks For the barrel, I'm going to keep it pretty simple Its stability is good, but if you don't get something that gives you stability, then it's fine The barrel is probably the thing that affects this weapon the least, even less than the masterwork Like the barrel is really not something that matters much in PvE Any barrel will do, but if you get something that increases stability Go with that now for the magazine we have projection fuse particle repeater liquid coils ionized battery enhanced battery and accelerated coils and the best perks on this slot are definitely going to be those that increase your magazine size except if you're going with reservoir bursts but with any other role you want enhanced battery to give you an increased magazine size now for reservoir bursts i think liquid coils would do pretty good uh, it increases your impact, and you want to keep your magazine low uh, with that perk. But that one's specifically for that perk. And now let's move on to the main course of the video. This is pretty much where we're going to spend most of our time, which is the trade perks. And let's get into the first one. So for the first trade perk, we have Auto Loading Holster, Corner, Slice, Rewind Rounds, Rapid Hit, and the last one in this column is MB Assassin. This first straight perk has some really solid options, but the main ones I want to focus on are going to be Auto Loading Holster, Rewind Rounds, or MB Assassin. And let's start from the top with Auto Loading Holster. Auto Loading Holster is going to reload your weapon when it's put away after a couple of seconds. This is going to be really good for things like Nifos. I think Auto Loading Holster shines the most in content where you don't really have to DPS a big boss all the time. Uh, wherever there's some downtime, or in Nifos where you gotta deal with a bunch of champions, auto loading holster is great for that. You can use your weapon, kill a champion, put it away, and it'll be ready for the next time you need it. Auto loading holster is definitely gonna be a fantastic perk, just not the best for boss DPS. Now, if DPS is what you're looking for, then we have rewind rounds or MB assassin for you. But first, let's start with rewind rounds. With Rewind Rounds, you'll get a portion of the magazine refilled after your magazine runs out, meaning that you can keep shooting for a pretty long time without having to reload as long as you're hitting your shots. 
And if DPSing the boss is what you're doing, you're basically getting the most out of rewind rounds. You're always going to be getting some of your magazine back. It can make it so reloading is just something that you don't do often. The great thing about rewind rounds is that it doesn't require any setup. It doesn't get messed up if you die. Uh, as long as you're shooting your weapon and landing crits, you're going to be taking advantage of rewind rounds. So it's just always going to be helping you. And it pairs up really well with bait and switch and firing line in the second slot. So both of those are going to be fantastic with rewind rounds. This is going to be a super strong just boss damage perk. MBOs does kind of a similar thing as rewind rounds except that you do it by overflowing the magazine. We can actually get our magazine up to like 15, 16 shots depending on how many kills we got beforehand. So it can actually be really good for DPS, especially with things again like bait and switch and firing line. But it does have a really good interaction with another perk we didn't mention for rewind rounds and that is Reservoir Burst. Reservoir Burst is going to give you extra damage whenever your magazine is full and it's a pretty good damage increase. It's 25%. It's not as high as bait and switch, but it's also higher than firing line. So it can actually be a pretty good buff. Reservoir Burst is going to work beautiful with MB Assassin. All those overflowed shots are going to have that 25% extra damage. But it will take a little bit of setup. You are going to have to overflow the magazine. If you don't overflow it, then Reservoir Burst is not really going to do much. You're going to have it for like one shot and that's it. So that is another perk that you could possibly run with specifically MB Assassin. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend Reservoir Burst with any other perk besides MBS. So MBS has a lot of flexibility and it can pretty much work with any of the perks that you would want for boss damage. And the last perk that I kind of want to look in this column, I know I said three at the beginning, but I also want to take a look at Corner. Now Corner is going to give you faster charge time. And the only reason why I mentioned Corner is because this weapon can also roll with surrounded. So corner surrounded is something you can actually get on this weapon. So not only do you get that crazy 40% damage increase with surrounded, but you're also gonna get faster charge rate with corner. But the thing about it is that it's definitely gonna be very situational. I think this is gonna be like a pretty fun role that can be insane by just very niche situations. But yeah, those are definitely the best perks that I think you can get on the first column. And now let's move on to the second one. Now this is the options that we have for the second trade perk. First of all, we have Surrounded, Hatchling, Reservoir Burst, Bait and Switch, Firing Line, and lastly, Attrition Orbs. And the main three that I want to talk about for this perk are Firing Line, Bait and Switch, and Reservoir Burst. So let's start off with Reservoir Burst. And we kind of already talked about it when we talked about MB Assassin. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But yeah, it gives you 25% extra damage, which is not the highest. It's not as high as Bait and Switch, but it is a pretty good damage buff. I can definitely see Wrestler Burst being good for boss damage in certain situations. But for the most part, it's going to be good for running gunning with it and probably just killing champions. It's going to be a really good perk for killing champions. You're always going to have a bunch of shots with this 25% extra damage. You're going to be melting champions with this thing. So I definitely think Reservoir Burst is good on this weapon, but remember, you do have to get it with MBS. Without MBS, Reservoir Burst is basically nothing. Now next up, we have Bait and Switch, and this is going to be the DPS perk. If you want to do the big DPS, this is your perk. Bait and Switch is going to give us that whopping 30% increased damage, and it's just not going to get any better than that. Especially pairing this up with MBS or Rewind, you're going to be able to take full advantage of bait and switch and just put out tons of damage so if all you're looking for is a dps monster it's gonna be bait and switch and the last perk we have is firing line whenever we have two allies near we get 20 percent extra damage firing line is gonna be pretty good sure it's not as high as wrestler burst or bait and switch but it's a very passive perk all you have to do is literally be next to your teammates and you have 20% extra damage. This plus rewind rounds are gonna make this weapon super consistent. You're always gonna be able to output some pretty good DPS. You're never gonna have to worry about weapon switching or anything like that. It's a very simple play style. You put on the weapon, you stand next to your teammates, and you shoot the enemy, and they die. 
<laughs> that is pretty much the playstyle of firing line with rewind rounds. But hey, it's going to be really consistent. You're always going to be hitting consistent good DPS numbers. Might not be the highest, but they're going to be super consistent. So those three perks, I think, are going to be the best ones that you can get on this slot. And now let's talk God Rolls. And first of all, let's talk about the DPS King God Roll. This one is Enhanced Battery with Rewind Rounds and Bait and Switch. I won't get it any better than this. This is the roll that you want to aim for if you use one this thing to do boss DPS. We already discussed some of the other ones. The Rest Reverse with MBS or the Rewind Rounds with Firing Line. Those are going to be okay, but they're definitely not going to be as good as Bait and Switch plus Rewind Rounds. That's just like the best roll this thing can get. But let me know in the comments below what is the role that you guys are going to be hunting this week. Or maybe you already got it. Maybe you got lucky and you already got it. Although with double loot, it's a little easier to get lucky. So definitely get in there and farm this weapon. And now let's have a, a little chat about the weapon. Let's talk a little about the weapon. The weapon I feel, it's a really good weapon. Sure, I don't have like countless hours with this. I only have a couple hours. But I can already tell that this is going to be a good weapon. 100% is the best strand linear out there. I'm one of the best linears, just period, in the game. If you go for this, this thing is going to serve you well in pretty much anything you throw at it. Especially if you get multiple rolls for like multiple activities. Maybe one for GMs, one for raids. This thing is always going to have you covered. So I'm very happy to tell you that this weapon is 100% worth the grind. And you're going to be finding me in there pretty much all week. <laughs> Not only for the weapon, but also for some of the materials. Since I've been doing too many upgrades that I actually made a dent in my materials. But also let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about the weapon? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? If you guys have used it already, just tell me how you're feeling about it. And with that, we're going to end today's video. Appreciate everyone stopping by. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.